Hi everyone, my name is Joseph Scrofano. I'm the founder and managing partner of Scrofano Law PC, where we fight relentlessly on behalf of anyone in trouble who cares about their future. I'm here to today to talk to you about the offense uh, of fraud in the District of Columbia. I'm gonna go over three things. Um, one, what is fraud? Two, what are the punishments for fraud? And three, what are the types of activity that people commonly get arrested for committing fraud? First, um, for the government to charge and convict someone for committing fraud in DC, they have to prove three elements. One, the person has to engage in a systematic course of conduct. Two, um, that systematic course of conduct has to um, be done with the intent to take something of value from another. And three, you have to be successful in obtaining something of value. If the government can prove those three elements, um, then someone can be convicted for first degree fraud. Um, second degree fraud is the same thing um, minus the last element, which means you don't have to be successful in the fraudulent scheme in order to be convicted or charged for second degree fraud. Um, for the charge to be a felony, um, for first degree fraud, if the amount of value of the item or service or whatever it is that's taken is over $250, it's a felony offense. Um, for second degree fraud, if the item is over or the item or service is over $1,000, um, then that would be considered a felony offense. Um, lastly, some of the common situations where folks get arrested and charged with fraud involve check fraud, writing a check um, that, that um, balances uh, intentionally or stealing another's checks and writing checks or scanning um, checks from someone else and, and using fraudulent checks to try to cash them or deposit them. Credit card fraud involves stealing another credit card or stealing someone's credit card information and using that. Um, there's also a whole host of other types of scenarios involving fraud, including um, insurance fraud. If you get into an accident and you lie to your insurance company, you can be charged with insurance fraud. If you're filling out any government applications to obtain a government uh, benefit like welfare or Medicaid uh, or even uh, you know, PPP funding or other um, assistance, uh, unemployment, um, if you lie on government applications in order to get a benefit of value, you can be charged with separate fraud crimes for those as well. Anyway, I hope you found this was informative. Um, check out our website, um, and the link is in the post, and if you want to find out more information about fraud in the District of Columbia. Thanks so much, and have a great day.